How can we better prepare for death? This was the initial question I had in mind while discussing about the final stages of life. I chose three events that happened in our lifetime and created a Venn diagram to understand the common feelings felt between them. A second more optimistic diagram was created and both enabled me to see a diverse range of potential profiles which I could look out for to conduct interviews. The six profiles that I have had an opportunity to talk to comes from diverse backgrounds with various experiences. We have a heart attack survivor. Someone that has come to terms with death. Someone who has experienced a major death as a kid. A full-time paramedic. A plane crash survivor. And a caregiver for his father. After these interviews were conducted, I did a sense-making analysis and a cross-reference of what each profile said to pick out the common themes mentioned which will support my insights generation. With that, out of the six diverse insights I generated, I decided to focus on these two as I felt they were the most interesting for design to happen. These two insights were based on death education and early exposure to death. From there, I generated two hypotheses respectively and made a realization that the common trait from all the profiles are the questions that come as death is near. The reason why we question so much is because we are never taught what to do when a loved one is nearing the end of life, and together with the lack of exposure and experience, it can leave some people feeling completely hopeless and confused. Moving forward, I decided to merge these two hypotheses into one final one which I will design against. With that, I conceptualized the Dying Dictionary, an educational website powered by artificial intelligence that can generate curated and personalized resources on everything you need to know about death and dying, specific to each individual situation just by typing in key elements of the circumstances they are facing. Now, let's follow Emma, a teenager who just discovered this site from a poster she saw in a polyclinic.